Hey Libra! <laughs> Welcome into this little reading I wanted to do for everybody individually. I haven't done an individual zodiac uh, for a while, so I wanted to do this. I want to look ahead a little bit to Lionsgate, the 8-8 portal. I know that's August and all that, but and I will be doing the monthlies for each zodiac, but uh, there's something about preparation here that I need to share with you guys. I need to share with you about preparing for Lionsgate. So it's not a, like, hey, I'm doing the Lionsgate reading on August 8th. Okay, there's something here to prepare for. Um, also want to talk a little bit about Chiron in retrograde um, and uh, take a look at where you might find that in your chart. If you don't know, I do teach a class about Chiron itself. And Chiron is really about embracing the wounded healer in all of us. Each one of us has a gift that's covered up by a wound, all right, that's, that's hidden in the, in the little painful part of uh, a wound uh, created in your childhood. So by embracing that and healing that and bringing medicine to it, you are bringing the world your gift. And so if you don't know where your Chiron is, you might want to catch that that uh, class I did. Um, also, for those of you who are tarot aficionados, I will be doing a live class about how to tell what, uh, when something is going to happen when you're watching when you're watching tarot or reading tarot for yourself. And you can gain entry, free entry, by getting a deck, my Souls on Fire deck, or you can just uh, jump on and um, purchase that class too. It's live. It's going to be in August around. You guessed it, Lionsgate, okay? All right, Libra, let's see where we go here for you. Navigating by the stars, absolutely. <laughs> One of my favorite cards, Wondrous Universe. Walk in beauty, wandering path, enjoy the journey. Um, this has a very decidedly stop and smell the roses feeling. And interestingly enough, like the, the Lionsgate portal is a powerful um, sort of bridge, right? And also the, the uh, star Sirius is appearing. Sirius is about our uh, spiritual path. It's about our portal to um, the stars, our portal to our power, right? Lionsgate stepping into power, stepping into courage. This is a this is a message, Libra. Of um, there's also power in receiving and allowing. All right, it's not solely about this fire energy. There needs to be some kind of balance too. So if you have been, you know, pouring on the fire, uh, if you have been in that energy, maybe Cancerian energy was a little bit watery for you. So you're just like. You know, I'm going to move it forward. There can be a little energy here of Libra um, enjoying what the summer brings in the northern hemisphere, maybe stopping and slowing down if you're in the southern hemisphere, you know, something like that. It really is about uh, recognizing the beauty of the universe. Other people do stuff differently than you. And sometimes it's cool to see how other people do stuff. I don't know why I'm getting that little message like, you know, you have a way of living your life and that's all great and that's good. But there's something here to be observed in how other people handle their lives or something. All right. Judgment underneath. Wheel of Fortune. Change coming. Eight of Swords. That has shown up a lot. Boy, this card has shown up a ton. The uh, star energy of healing. Hope. It, it's almost like, do you know what your dreams are? Do you have a dream? Someone asked me that a while ago. And I mean, this has been my dream for such a long time, you know, moving into my own kind of work, something that I have joy about and love and it's spiritual and everything like that. That has been my dream for such a long time that I'm like, oh, I need a new dream. Somebody here needs a new dream or needs to finally step into a dream. Okay. Um, seven of Pentacles. What have you been putting a lot of time and effort into? I almost feel like you don't believe this dream can happen or something. 
All right. Eight of Cups, walking your spiritual path. It's, some of you might be facing a crossroads about moving down your spiritual path more or really stepping into it. Okay. That's interesting. Um, Three of Cups, the Sun. Look at you. Four of Swords, more healing energy. Temperance, outcome, Four of Wands. Uh, I feel like you could be dealing with a Leo, an Aquarius, Sag, Pisces, okay? And I feel like there's going to be, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, not like a tower, but more like a something will suddenly appear, okay? And it's going to be different energy than what you might think. It's not going to be this energy. It's not going to be like, if you're thinking all your dreams are around career and money, it might be love. If you're all focused on love, it might be career and money. Do you know what I'm saying? So there's something different coming in because you're shining your brightest. All right. The sun and the star working, doing your healing work of yourselves, uh, embracing this Chiron placement because Chiron and retrograde basically is encouraging us to go inside and really do this work, okay? Chiron is in retrograde between middle of July right now and December 19th. It's in Aries, so it's about you, all right? Me, myself, and I. Aries is about who I am in the world, but putting forth effort. It's also a fire energy just like Leo is, and that's the Leo time period we're in right now. So I feel like this Eight of Swords... It's almost like you don't know what to do next or something. Like you're not sure. Three of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Fool. Okay. You're not sure of what to do next, even though you're being asked to move forward. And you're like, okay, all right, I'll move forward. I'll step into my spiritual path. But where is it? Like, what, what am I supposed to be doing here? And I feel like that's the thing. It's like, there's something here about it's the opposite of what you have been doing. Like if you've been a real hard charger, this could be about like laying back and enjoying yourself. This it, It's counterintuitive, whatever it is. Okay, so if you're used to, um, it's a spiritual uh, gift that you're opening that's very different from what you've been doing. And I also feel like if other people are showing up because you're starting to shine really brightly, you're starting to step into the spiritual gift, other people likely are showing up and you might be uh, a little like naive about them. Um, they might be not totally, let me get this right. Some people may be showing up because you're shining very brightly and they want a piece of that. Okay. Others may be shining up or showing up because they have a legitimate spiritual alignment with you. There's a big difference here. And I feel like you're going to be figuring that out. It's almost like you're opening up your awareness around this. You're opening up, you know, it's like you're okay. So your sight is going away and you're opening up to some other sixth sense another mash reference with Hawkeye when he loses his sight and his other senses get heightened. So there's something that you've always done that may go away or that may not be a thing for you anymore. You may not have any energy for it anymore. You may not step into it anymore. And so there's going to be this time period where you're kind of like, okay, I'm ready to go my spiritual path but I've been doing this, I've been doing this thing uh, all this time, and it's not that, it's something else, okay? It's some other thing. So let me get a little clarity. That seems a little esoteric to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, so let me see. Six of Wands, King of Swords, Moon, Knight of Cups. Okay. There is a love coming in. There is somebody coming in. Sag, oops, sorry. Leo, Aquarius, can't, uh, Leo, Aquarius, Sag, Pisces, right? Let me make sure that's everything. Okay. 
I definitely see a Sag, Pisces, Aquarius, Leo. Somebody's coming in. And I feel like you have to navigate. I feel like there's going to be more than one person showing up here. Sag. Okay? There's more than one person showing up here. Maybe more than one Sag, right? I see that. I see Moon and I see Pi a Cancer and Pisces. I see Leo. There's more than one person showing up. And the good news is that you're needing this uh, King of Swords clarity to cut through some fear around like, who is it? I, I, I almost feel like this is like a, a love partner who's on a spiritual path or someone <coughs> doesn't have to be a love partner. It can be a very close soulmate energy. For most of you, it's a love partner because we're moving toward relationship and it's Archangel Michael is involved here. Ace of Wands, Page of Wands, King of Cups, absolutely. Five of Pentacles. There's something about this person who's left behind another life, okay? There's something inspirational about this person. Um, I feel like there's somebody who is, you know, sparks your creativity. Um, they're a king. They're king energy. This is a love partner who is also really um, spiritually connected to you on your path really opening up, opening up, right? If you're working on your Chiron, your wounded healer, this person has some kind of hook into that. There's some kind of presence. As you're doing your work, this person aligns with your work. Interesting. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, go deeper in this. Um, I will look at all those signs that I just said. <laughs> There's a lot here. Um, Cancer, Sag, Pisces, Aquarius, Leo. All right, got Sag. All right, so we're going to look at all those, and this is about a new path. A new path, Libra. All right, let's see where we go. Link is below. If that resonated for you, I'll see you over there.